The movie begins with a view of the Tsitsikama Forest, a tropical jungle in South Africa. Here, two forest rangers, Gabby and Winston, are paddling along the river while controlling a drone to film the forest's environment. Soon after, the drone notices a moving human figure, and Gabby realizes it. She tries to reposition the drone, but the mysterious man attacks it, causing the device to shut down. Now, Gabby decides to enter the forest to get the drone, and she informs Winston that she'll meet him in an hour. But just then, we see a man named Barend and his son Stefan taking the drone and setting up a trap in the forest. After that, the duo covers their noses and mouths as they begin gathering food for their dinner. While Gabby looks for the drone, Winston is on the opposite side of the forest. He is retrieving the memory card from another stationary camera when he hears something nearby. He's then shocked to find the caked dirt blocking the camera's lens. Meanwhile, Gabby becomes concerned about what's going on when she senses someone spying on her. As she tries to flee, she unintentionally sets off a trap, leading to a wooden stake piercing her foot. She immediately radios Winston for help, but he doesn't respond as he's left the device on the boat. Now, Gabby gets afraid when something moves in the distance, so she forces the stick on her foot out, hoping to flee the scene. Just then, Winston hears her cries of pain from afar and rushes back to the boat, but his radio's wet. Moments after, Gabby cries as she takes the stick out of her foot and struggles to stand up. Elsewhere, Winston also walks into the forest looking for her. Suddenly, the forest begins to emit a bright red light, and the trees creak, becoming eerier as night falls. Gabby then begins going toward the light and arrives at a wooden cabin with no one inside. And because of the wound on her leg, she decides to take a break and rest. Elsewhere, Winston's walking through the woods when he notices someone following him. He approaches the person, believing it to be Gabby. Meanwhile, Gabby soon passes out as she dreams of vomiting a hairy slop of fungus. She immediately awakens from her nightmare to discover Berend pointing a knife at her, telling her that she's broken their trap. Outside, Winston hears an odd noise nearby. And a few minutes later, a creature appears on the surface, staring at Winston as he approaches the island. It's a horrific sight, with its heavily coated skin like a tree trunk and loud screams. Winston hides behind a tree, not noticing the roots creeping up to him until they finally reach his head. Meanwhile, Berend and Stefan turn out to be good people, as Berend treats Gabby's wound while Stefan prepares a meal for them. Gabby then informs him that one of her friends is also out in the woods. Later, they eat a meal prepared by Stefan, which includes porcini mushrooms, rabbit intestines, and lush wood maggots moving inside a wooden bowl. The following morning, Stefan starts to bandage Gabby's foot after Berend has applied a herbal paste to it. Moments later, Stefan gets aroused by Gabby as he stares at her body and resists his urge to touch her. But soon, the father and son leave to look for food after treating her wounds. When Gabby wakes up, she discovers fungus spreading from her arm. She pulls them off in pain, realizing that each sprout is deeply rooted under her flesh. However, she suddenly wakes up and realizes it was just a nightmare. Sometime later, Gabby tries to reach Winston via radio, but receives no response. However, moments after, she hears Winston speaking uncomfortably, and his words are unclear. Gabby decides to help her colleague find her by setting a fire in a small chimney. She then sees a loose floorboard in the cabin, which leads her to discover some ancient objects and a photo of a woman inside. However, Berend and Stefan rush back home when they smell smoke coming from their shack. Immediately, Berend puts out the fire and scolds Gabby, claiming they don't make a fire in the daylight. Later that evening, Gabby tries to contact Winston again, but receives no response. When she inquires about the woman in the picture, Berend reveals that it was his wife who died of bone marrow cancer 13 years ago. Berend adds that he used to be a plant pathologist and that once his wife became ill, they decided to return to this place where they spent their honeymoon and Stefan was conceived. He then claims to have met God in the wilderness, which confuses Gabby. Just then, she notices that her wound is healed. Seconds later, Stefan gives her a locket and she promptly wears it. Meanwhile, Winston's body is covered with fungus and mushrooms, as though he is merging with nature. Later, when Gabby's sleeping, a root creeps up from the flooring, slowly approaching her. Beren suddenly places his palm over her mouth, warning her to be silent. Gabby then smears her arms in mud, just like Berend and Stefan, to keep the creature from smelling them. Berend informs her that this creature is blind and asks that she stay by the wall. The creature then breaks in and reveals itself to be a human who's covered in fungus. Now, Stefan immediately stabs it, and Berend attacks it and drives it away. Since its blood has been spilled on Gabby, Stefan removes her clothes and begins cleaning her so that she doesn't become infected. Berend explains that the fungus infects individuals and feeds on the eyes, mouth, and lungs before infecting people through spores. Hearing this, Gabby grumbles in disbelief that Berend worships this organism as God. The following morning, Gabby shows Stefan her phone, who appears to be surprised by the unfamiliar thing. 
when he sees a photo of Gabby posing in front of a large vehicle, he calls the vehicle a monster. Suddenly, Beren takes the phone from his son's grasp and throws it against the wall, calling it a devilish device. Later, after the two men go hunting, Gabby discovers Beren's journal in the cabin, which refers to humanity as monkeys in captivity. It also mentions how he hates what the world's become, explaining why Beren prefers to live deep in the forest. Meanwhile, in the forest, Beren makes an offering to a large tree. He then prays and eats some of the mushrooms growing in the tree with Stefan. When they get home, they plan to look for Winston in the forest so that he and Gabby can depart. Gabby then looks down at her arm and notices fungus creeping from beneath her skin. Now, Stefan hugs Gabby and wants to go with her, but Berend refuses him to do so. Later, Gabby discovers Winston's flashlight while walking through the woods with Berend. She then takes a memory card from one of their cameras and eventually discovers Winston. He's awake but half-dead, collapsed at the base of a tree. Winston then begs to be killed rather than to become one of the creatures, but Gabby can't bring herself to do it. But Berend eventually throws an arrow in front of Winston, who uses it to impale himself. Now, Gabby's piercing screams catch the attention of the nearby creatures, prompting her and Beren to swiftly seek refuge in the cabin. Later that night, Gabby notices fungus growing on her thigh and informs Beren that she knows he has medicines. However, he simply ignores her and walks out of the cabin. Meanwhile, Stefan claims his father went to the big tree to pray. And when Gabby inquires about his mother, he responds that she's still alive in the forest. Now, Gabby informs them that there's a whole other world in the city and talks about the work he could do and the girls he could meet. However, Stefan claims that they'll all die soon, according to his father. On the other hand, we see Berend making an offering to the tree just when he hears something that disturbs him a lot. The following morning, Gabby discovers more fungus on her thigh, while Berend feeds Stefan another mushroom from the big tree. Stefan then rushes home and feeds the mushroom to Gabby which Beren notices. Beren then demands that Gabby leave immediately, but she's adamant to stay there. She notices that eating mushrooms is destroying her fungus. That day, Stefan and Gabby spend the day together, learning how to shoot arrows, playing with wooden toys, and getting closer to each other. Following this, Stefan brings Gabby to his mother, who, to her surprise, is a living big tree. She's still moving, making a faint sound, and her wedding ring is still on one of the tree's limbs. When they return home, Gabby inserts the memory card from one of the cameras she and Winston set up in the forest and finds pictures of several creatures there. While she's browsing through them, Berend rants about humanity's impending doom due to their own irresponsible behavior. Despite his insane rants, Gabby demands he show her the source of his faith. That evening, they perform a ritual in which Berend blows powder on Gabby's face, after which she passes out. Then she enters another realm where everyone is naked and stands in front of a tree. She then touches it and begins having bizarre images. Gabby watches Stefan emerge from the marsh and begins following him, eventually becoming intimate with him. But suddenly, she sees Berend getting intimate with a tree and Stefan's mouth stabbed with an arrow. After she wakes up, Berend asks her what the tree told her and Gabby looks at Stefan to look for answers. Later, around midnight, Beren sneaks out to recite his prayers to the tree. Stefan is then awakened by Gabby so that they can leave and go to the city. However, on the way, they come across Beren, who persuades his son that the outside world is dangerous and she'll treat him like a slave there. In the end, Stefan returns to his father, leaving Gabby to head out on her own. However, sometime later, Gabby changes her mind and she returns to the cabin. She hides when she notices Beren taking Stefan with him somewhere. After they leave, she grabs a bow and arrow from the cabin and begins following them. Stefan asks his father what they'll do, and Berend replies that they'll make a sacrifice. Stefan wonders what they'll offer because they haven't brought anything, but Berend assures them that they'll find something one way or another. Meanwhile, Gabby rushes after the men, but stopped by one of the creatures. She then hides silently behind a tree till it leaves. When the father and son arrive at the big tree, Berend forces Stefan to sit in front of it and informs them that the god has chosen him as a sacrifice. Stefan tries to flee, but the roots grip his hands fiercely. As Beren pins his own son to the ground, the forest darkens. Now, Beren holds an axe above his head, ready to kill him. But just then, Gabby makes her entrance. Then, he leaves Stefan and begins to approach Gabby to sacrifice her instead of his son. The two now begin fighting, and just as Beren is about to kill her, Stefan stabs him in the back. Beren claims it was just a test and that he never intended to harm his son, but Stefan doesn't believe him. Following this, Gabby and Stefan abandon the injured Beren there and hurry to the cabin. Soon after that, the organisms begin to transform Beren into one of them. He pleads painfully not to do this, but the organisms don't seem to listen due to their hunger to invade. Meanwhile, at the cabin, Gabby washes herself clean and Stefan comforts her as she weeps. The following morning, Gabby's body grows more of the fungi. 
She then requests that Stefan leave her and go to the city, but he refuses. As the days go by, they enjoy one another's company, but Gabby eventually gives in to the fungi while Stefan remains well, uninfected and healthy. She has no chance of survival, so she begs Stefan to kill her, which she eventually does. At this point, poor Stefan has no choice except to leave her there. In the final scene, we see Stefan arrive in the city, dressed up as a normal guy, and casually walking into a restaurant. However, when he leaves his trash on the table and exits, we see that a lump of fungi has grown in the leftovers. 